Hi, I'm Wendy Mass, and we're sitting here in my office, which is right outside Lake Mohawk in New Jersey, and we're here to talk about my new book called The Candy Makers. Like all of my books, I base them on things that interest me. So in this case, I love candy, so I thought it'd be really fun to set a book in a candy factory, and pretty much as I started writing it, I realized that there was more to this candy factory than I thought, and the whole sort of secret unravels as the book goes along. So it was, it was a lot of fun for me to write kind of a mystery this time around. So the four characters in the book are in this heated competition to make the world's best new candy because they're part of this nationwide candy competition that was really hard to get into. But as the book goes on, the rules change and everything kind of turns upside down. So everything that the kids thought they knew about what was going on and what the reader knew or thought they knew about what was going on kind of changes and they find themselves in this whole other kind of competition. The Candy Makers is my 10th book for young readers and the reason I love writing for this age group is it kind of gives me the opportunity to give something back to the next generation of readers. And really, I think the books we read at this time in our life just have this amazing power. They, they kind of live on inside us and help us figure out who we want to be and, and what we want to do with our lives. And I, and I just love being a part of that process. And the kids have been so great. They, they make me things based on different things in the books, boxes for Jeremy Fink and the Meaning of Life, whole dioramas of the solar system for every solar star. Someone made me a whole sign um, made out of candy bar wrappers. Such a great privilege to write for this age. I love doing research for books and with a book like The Candy Makers what I would do is go find the most basic books on the topic of candy making and how it's made and where the ingredients come from. So even a book like Candy Making for Dummies was actually a, a great resource for me. And then I spoke to people who worked in candy factories and I, I watched videos on candy factories and I ate a lot of candy, visited candy stores and, and all of those things sort of combined to make their way into the book. To come up with the names for the candy in the book, I went to kids and I asked them, what are some candies that you would invent if you could make any candy in the world? So I used most of their ideas for the book. So things like the neon yellow lightning chew and the oozing crunch aroma, and they all really made it into the book. So I ate a lot of candy as a child, as you might expect, and continue to eat a lot to this day. My favorites growing up, two of my favorites are discontinued, and when your favorite candy gets discontinued, it can be very traumatizing. So the marathon bar is gone, so unfair. And these things called volcano rocks, which sort of came in a box like Nerds, but were much better than Nerds. Not that I have anything against Nerds, but I like Nerds. My best and favorite candy, good and fruity. Thankfully, it left for a few years, but now it's back. So a word of warning, reading the candy makers might make you a little hungry, so make sure you have some candy handy. Don't tell your dentist I said that. Mm -hmm.